Um, hi YouTube. This is Kimberly from San Diego, California, and I am making keto lasagna tonight. If you've never watched me before, um, hi, hello. Uh, if you're catching the live, if you would please drop a one down in the comments or say hello. I love talking to y'all and letting me know where you're coming in from. And if you are new, please drop new down in the comments. And let me know where you're coming in for, from, for, y'all, y'all are here to watch me make keto lasagna. And if you don't see the little red light box up in the corner, then I am so sorry I missed you. Please uh, just drop hashtag replay or the number two and say hello. I will respond back to you. And if you did miss me, make sure that you turn on your notifications. So tap my face up in the corner. There will be three dots. Click the three dots. Uh, go halfway down. Hit follow. Follow first. Or turn on live notifications. Y'all, I am getting my computer set up. And woo, I've got a lot of stuff going on over here. And I'm just zooming it in because the phone is a little further away than I'm used to. And since I am going to be over here, I want to make sure that I can reply to all of your comments. Hi, Robin, Lena. Hi, Kimberly. How are you doing? Kimberly, you're working late tonight? Ooh, okay. Let me see. Hi, Candy. How are you tonight? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I have chopped up, well, not really chopped, I roughly chopped up about six zucchinis um, because I am making a large pan of lasagna. So what I love about this lasagna, if you guys have never watched me before, um, we're a low carb family. Um, we don't necessarily do a strict keto, but we are also gluten free due to my son's, ooh, Sorry, right, y'all. I don't want y'all to see like all of the chats going through. Um, I've got some people personally messaging me. I've got to figure out a way to do that on my computer. I am doing good. Thank you for asking, Rob and Lena, and thank you for asking, Candy. It's been a heck of a day. Um, typically, we have a therapist here uh, five days a week. Uh, for my kids that are on the spectrum, which is why we are a gluten-free family for the most part. If you saw my post yesterday, you'll know that my 14-year-old asked for pizza and meatball subs last night for his birthday. So um, we had a little bit of gluten, but for the most part, we're a gluten-free family, especially for my toddlers. And so... Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But anyways, all of my recipes are gluten-free if that is something that you guys care about. Um, so I just threw in about half of these zucchinis that have been roughly chopped into some butter. And I have this Italian spice and salt seasoning. I don't even know where to tell you I got it from. But it says Epicurean Specialty on there. Um, I think I got it like a Ross or something. Ross or Marshalls. So I am just going to lightly cook these zucchini and set it aside and then I will be cooking the meat sauce that will go in this lasagna. So, oh I know what I was going to say. So we are more low carb than strict keto so they're will be some recipes if you go through and you're strict keto you're gonna go that's not keto well that's because we're mostly uh low carb but we are gluten free so um we don't use regular flour we also don't use sugar in our recipes um we really try to focus on a very healthy clean diet for the most part so Y'all, I have to go buy some new shirts. This is my husband's shirt because my shirt from earlier today got dirty. And I'm still in the process of buying clothes that fit because I've lost so much weight. Um, it's crazy. 
Hi, Tina. How are you tonight? Y'all, I am trying to keep up with uh, comments and stuff, but the phone is far away. Okay. Anyways, I am lightly cooking with zucchini. And the reason why I don't want to, like, overcook it is because it's going to cook some more um, when I put it in the oven. And talking about the oven, the oven needs to be set to 375. And we have a weird oven, y'all. So it's 190 on my oven. Well, 191 because it says 190.6 to be exact. But, um... Anyways, it'd be 375 in a regular normal oven, okay? We do not have a normal oven in our house. Let me move this piece over here. So, and since I still have more zucchini to cook, and y'all, I am, if I can cook everything in one pan, I do because I'm a busy mom and you know what? I'm the one that does the dishes. Granted, my husband fixed our um, dishwasher for us. We spent many a year without a working dishwasher, so I was a dishwasher. Um, I am very, very thankful and grateful for a dishwasher. So, but with that said, I don't want to create more dirty dishes and I absolutely ne necessarily need to. So, I'm going to throw some more seasoning on this batch and throw another pat of butter in again, too. So, y'all, how was your Friday? Are you all glad that... Yeah, I can't even talk tonight. Are y'all glad that it is Friday night? Did y'all do anything fun today? Or do you have any plans for this weekend? Oh, thank you so much for sharing me, Tina. I really, truly appreciate it. Sheila, you're late, but it is a longer video this time because it is lasagna. So, and this is also something that you can pre-make and put in Tupperware containers. Y'all, my Tupperware containers are huge, but um, you can put it in a Tupperware container and freeze it and then just reheat it in a microwave so and i'm just gonna let that sizzle for a little bit and as i would love to hear how everybody's friday has been did y'all do anything interesting or fun kimberly says not yet kimberly what do you got planned for this weekend Oh, thank you for sharing, Kimberly. I really appreciate it. If you guys love my videos or get value out of it, please share it to your page or tag your family and friends in it or share it to a group that you love. I love connecting with more people. You guys inspire me to find and cook different recipes and come up with different ways to make keto fun and low-carb fun. You know, I spent... I don't know how long, years, thinking about keto and going, you know what, that's going to be too hard for me as a mom with young kids to be able to do, they're not going to like it, it's not going to be fun for them, it's not going to be fun for me, I like my bread and my pasta and my potatoes, and you know what, I don't even really miss it. I haven't had bread in months. Well, okay, I lie. I had a slice of pizza last night, okay? Um, but I am still in, uh, I'm still in ketosis right now. But yes, I had a slice of pizza last night. It was amazing. I only had one slice. But as far as bread that actually go with sandwiches, it has been quite a while. Um, and I don't miss it. I also don't necessarily miss the potatoes. I do miss rice and uh, pasta some. But I have high hopes. And I actually really love the zucchini and my uh, 
in this lasagna. And I really like spinach as another noodle substitute. Uh, what else do I like? I do plan to try spaghetti squash again. It's been a couple of years since I tried it. But I have this awesome butternut squash pasta sauce that I got from Costco. And I am looking forward to coming up with recipes with it. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Ooh, Kimberly, a model train club. That sounds fun. So, y'all, if y'all are wondering, I'm over here. I'm really trying not to turn my back to you guys very much. But um, I have my laptop over here because otherwise I have to come so super close to the phone. Um, so I'm just trying to read your comments off. I'm actually going to be moving the laptop over here. That way I can focus on you guys some more um, once I get this meat into the pan. So all I'm really doing is very lightly sauteing this zucchini. And moving it into this um, dish over here just as a placeholder. Woo! Okay. And y'all, it would not be keto without more butter going into the pan. Um, I also really like a cast iron skillet. How many of you guys cook with a cast iron skillet? I know there are some people that really love it. I know there are some people that really don't. Um, I spent five years in Alabama and really grew to have an appreciation for the cast iron skillet. I am also one, um, that has typically suffered with anemia throughout my life. So, a uh, cast iron skillet has always been told to... I've always been told that a cast iron skillet adds extra iron into your blood and that it is great uh, for your system. Hi Ashton, how are you doing tonight? And y'all, I am just putting, this is a pound of ground beef and a pound of mild Italian sausage. I chose the mild because I don't do spicy very well anymore. And we've got toddlers that are going to eat this. Um, if you like spicy, definitely go ahead and go for it and use the spicy Italian sausage. And I do not want to cook the paper that comes on the bottom of the meat. It's not wanting to come up for me, y'all. only uses cast iron. Uh, I use cast iron for a lot. Um, I wouldn't say that I only use cast iron, but I definitely do use it for a lot. So, let me throw the scissors in here. Okay, Ashton says, and the skillet didn't help her. Yeah. Um, some people have like extremely low iron and it, it's not helpful enough. Um, thankfully, mine is a mild iron deficiency. So, thank you so much, Lisa, for sharing. I appreciate it. Ashton, I hope your mom is doing okay. I know those iron infusions are not fun. Um, well, infusions of any kind are not fun. Let me say that. Uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter, 
<laughs> I was going to tell you this. I had extreme morning sickness um, to the point where I was going into the hospital three times a week uh, to get IV hydration infusions because it was just that bad. So, I feel your mom's pain with the infusions. Infusions are not fun. They're no joke. You can't do anything. I will say I took the time to read, and I read a lot <laughs> during that time frame. Five hours sitting in a chair, not being able to do anything. So... Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, there were a lot of things that shut down during that time frame. Y'all, how is your, like, state or area? I'm in San Diego, California, and we're still very sheltered at home. Yes, things have opened up. Um, but... Like, we are all still homeschooling our kids. I think there might be a few schools that are opening back up for, like, half and half. Um, but me personally, all of our kids are still homeschooled. Um, I go out once or twice a week uh, to go get groceries. Um, probably going to be two to three times a week soon because I'm buying 30 to 40 pounds of apples in a week for my kids. Um, my husband's like, yeah, you don't even buy enough for me to get an apple now because the kids just eat. Like, they just all eat the apples. I literally went and bought 15 pounds of apples. What was it? Thursday? No, Wednesday. Wednesday I went and I bought 15 pounds of apples. We're down to like maybe five pounds of apples. And y'all, Facebook, I see that like the video quality is not all that great. I don't know if something's wrong with the streaming or the internet. I don't know. I've been looking at it. It's, it's it looks bad. like it might be the <laughs> streaming or the internet. Ashton has the same thing over oh. there. They're pretty much homeschooled and sheltered in place, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually even cutting out. Oh. Y'all, oh yeah, see, live video has been interrupted. Yep. So y'all, if you are getting, like, a blurry vision, I am so, so sorry. Or dropouts. Or dropouts. I am so, so sorry. Apparently, the streaming, it keeps getting interrupted. Um... So, if that's the case and you want to re-watch this video later, my husband will drop a link um, down for a better quality video, too. So, I am so, so sorry. So, if the video keeps dropping out for you, I see it on my laptop that it keeps dropping out. My husband has started dropping links uh, down into the comments uh, for some better quality video that he's taking. So that's something to look for. Oh, it says it's trying to reconnect. It's trying. Um, honey, can you go into my Facebook and go in the chat? Thank you. Because if I stop it, then it's going to, um, then I have to restart the live. Woo! Okay, y'all. My husband is going to drop some stuff down in the chat for you guys. I know that it keeps dropping out. Apparently, there's something going on with the internet. Y'all, has the internet dropped out at your place? Because I know here in San Diego, um, our internet has had issues, like, all over the county, not just in our area, which makes uh, things really hard for people that are working from home and also, like, with my classes, the actual class is not difficult if um, 
the internet goes down. We have video, like a DVD video for us to watch. Um, but it makes it difficult when we have to connect with other people to do videos. Like we have to have conversations in sign language. So it does make life a little bit difficult. I think Facebook is still down. You, you're down to five listeners. Oh, I am so sorry, y'all. I, I really am. I wish I could fix it, but it really is just an internet problem. Yeah, I see that. Okay, y'all, I'm going to add some fresh red pepper. This is also the reason why I bought the mild sausage. Because I know my husband wants fresh red pepper in this. Um, so, I am so, so sorry for the internet, you guys. Uh, our county has just been having some internet issues. I'm going to turn off the stove. I threw in, where is it? This Rouse brand of homemade marinara sauce. I got this from Costco. Um, I threw in a whole jar. I want to say at Costco it's like two for nine dollars. Maybe it's closer to ten. Um, okay. So let me grab this slotted spoon over here. And we're gonna start plating it up. No more. Oh, okay. Um, so. Um, Y'all know that I put all of this zucchini in this pan, and I am just taking like maybe two thirds of it out of here because I want the base layer to be zucchini for this. Y'all use whatever casserole dish pan. Um, the recipe for this called for like a nine by nine pan. We don't have a nine by nine pan. Um, so I just want a very thin layer of zucchini down in here. You know, I wish you could see all of this butter that's down in here too. It looks amazing. And if you are fully strict keto and you need to add that extra fat, the butter in this is so great for you. Um, I am currently using the Costco butter, but you can also use, you know, the gold standard for keto is that uh, Kerrygold Irish butter. Ugh, y'all, my nose is itching tonight. I know there's like an old wives tale about your nose itching. I don't know what it is. Does anybody know what it is? Ooh. Hi Clay, how are you doing? Oh, and it went out again. Okay, so we have the zucchini and the zucchini has been uh, sauteed up and with butter and spices. I used that Italian spice. Uh, but you could also just use salt and pepper. Um, I'm also going to use ricotta cheese for this. Um, this is a 32 ounce of ricotta cheese. I'm kind of doubling this recipe. So, and that's just because we have a large family of five. Um, you don't have to double the recipe if you don't want to. So now that I have a layer of zucchini down, I'm going to put a layer of this meat sauce down. I'm going to turn the skillet because I don't want to like drop sauce everywhere. So this meat sauce, for those of you that are just um, catching in, has one uh, 16 ounce container of Italian pork sausage and I also put in a one pound chuck of ground beef. I don't drain my meat when I'm doing uh, keto 
or low carb recipes, mainly because I need the extra fats. Uh, that is definitely some place that I have problems getting enough of. So when I have extra butter, um, I just leave it in there. And honestly, I think it makes it taste better, so. Okay, so we're just gonna put like half of the meat down in here and spread it thin. And then I'm going to put half of the mozzarella in. Um, the recipe calls for one pound of mozzarella. Let me just cut this mozzarella bag open. Sorry, y'all. Y'all can see my husband coming into frame. He's taking pictures. With the third camera. With his third camera. My husband absolutely loves cameras and photography so he absolutely loves being able to do this with me and helping me film so it's just an excuse to buy stuff he says an ex it's an excuse to buy stuff y'all like i would really stop him but you know that is what he says anyway so i added about a half a pound of mozzarella over the top of that um, and then we're going to add some more zucchini. Y'all, if you don't want, if you don't like the chopped zucchini, you can certainly use a mandolin slicer and make it more noodle-like. I have a bad experience with a mandolin slicer and cutting my thumb open. Um, so, yeah. I tend to stay away from those things now. And my husband's over here laughing. But it was pretty bad. Okay, so I added another half of the, well, a third of the zucchini. And then I'm going to throw a ricotta cheese on here. My husband is not a fan of ricotta. You can already see him rolling his eyes over there. But I promise it'll taste good. I'll throw in some more red pepper for you. And I need another knife because, of course. Of course, I forget about the seal that comes on the ricotta cheese. So, it calls for 16 ounces of ricotta, which would be about half this container. I'm going to just go ahead and put this on here. And if y'all don't like ricotta, you can use cottage cheese instead. My husband doesn't like cottage cheese either. So, um, I got the thing that I really like, even though he's not a big fan of it. Because I would prefer ricotta cheese in my lasagna versus cottage cheese. If you use the cottage cheese, it does make it a lot wetter um, so you need to let it sit for longer before you cut into it as it is with this recipe and with any like gluten-free recipe you need to let your items sit for about 10 minutes before you cut into them otherwise they will just kind of uh, become a one big soggy mess so since I doubled this recipe I'm actually going to use the entire container 32 ounces of ricotta cheese. Like I said, you don't have to double the recipe. I will put the original recipe in the top. So, there we go. I just added all of that in there. For all of you that are still live with me, thank you so much for your patience. I really appreciate it. So, I added the ricotta cheese on top. And then I am going to just throw on some crushed red peppers over top of this. And then we are going to throw on top of that the rest of what is in this uh, meat sauce pan. 
So, I really appreciate you guys. I, I know that it's, okay, I do not want to spill that all over myself and all over the kitchen. It might make for a funny story, <laughs> but cast iron skillets are heavy and we have, um, and captured from multiple angles. Yes, and my husband says captured from multiple angles, so it would be really hilarious. But we also have tile kitchen floors. Maybe we can get new kitchen floors that won't break if the cast iron skillet falls on them. But I, in particular, don't want to have tile shattering up my legs, y'all. That is what happened, well, kind of what happened to our therapist. She went out and a glass bottle broke and... Um, she got leg all or she got glass shattered into her leg and had to go uh, to the doctor and they said they wouldn't put stitches in it um, so yeah so we're gonna throw the rest of this meat sauce on top you know the next time I make this maybe I'm gonna add like another pound of meat in there because my family really, really loves their meat. Okay, so we added the meat sauce. We're going to add some more zucchinis, and then we're going to top it all with mozzarella and stick it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes to bake. So, and yes, this zucchini is not going to cover everything. Um, and that's fine because, you know, for my family, some of us really love our veggies, some of us don't. The ones that don't love it as much can get the side that has more cheese on it, which means I get the side that has more zucchini on it. Yeah, honey, I think we need to figure out like, a way to put a camera right here so that I'm talking. Well, to here. the camera. If you really want to get technical, what I've been planning is an L bracket mounting a camera right up here, angled down. Okay. Possibly pop this off the top of the fridge. Okay, well, you're in the Facebook. Like you're in the Facebook thing right now. So my husband's planning on getting a better camera angle in here. So I put another half a pound of mozzarella cheese over top of this. My oven has um, preheated to 375. <laughs> when it's hot so just so that you guys can take a look it is quite heavy it is going to be so so delicious and it will be ready in about 25 minutes and then I'm gonna let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes after it comes out of the oven for it to fully set before I cut into it and that's kind of what you do with just anything that is keto or gluten free um, because it doesn't have all the binders that are going to hold it in place. Um, Y'all, again, I really appreciate you coming on live with me. My husband will drop a link down later in the comments so that you can view a video that doesn't go in and out. But anyways, I am, oh, Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes, please. 25 minutes, starting okay. now. So I just turned on the timer. In 25 minutes, I'm gonna pull this out of the oven. It's going to rest for 10 to 15 minutes before we cut it open. If you've never watched one of my videos before, I will put a picture of the finished product down in the comments for you so that you can see what it looks like. I'll also post the recipe up top for you. Um, that way you can have it as well. I'm also part of an absolutely wonderful uh, community that shares all of these recipes if that's something that you're interested in if you would just type the word community down below for me um, I'd really love to get you in uh, if you love this video despite all of the coming in and out on it um, you can certainly send me a friend request if you have any questions I will be happy to message with you and answer it um, so like I said, you can send me a friend request if you don't want to miss out on my lives. Usually they are a lot better than this. I'm so, so sorry for tonight. Tap my face, the three dots up in the right hand corner of your screen. Halfway down is follow, follow first, or turn on live notifications. 
So I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Friday and I will see you guys tomorrow night with a new recipe. And if there is something that you would love to see, please feel free to message me over what you would like. I'll add it to my list. I'll message you when we're getting ready to do it to create that recipe for you. That way you can catch it live and I'll also tag you in the video um, to give you props for giving me that suggestion. Okay, I hope everybody has an absolutely wonderful Friday night and a great start to your weekend. And I will see you all, what honey? And I will see you all um, tomorrow night. Bye. It's okay, time to pull it out. bubbling and hot so we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes 15 minutes before we cut into it and serve it so it looks amazing I'm excited we're gonna have lasagna tonight oh god and a healthy lasagna I can actually eat this one hi YouTube